Good morning, Wilson. Today is Tuesday, September 29th. I'm Ryan Ireland. And I'm Ryan O'Brien. The early bird special for yearbook prices expires soon. You can purchase your yearbook for the lowest price this year if you order it by tomorrow. There will be a SAD meeting in room 206 on Thursday, October 1st at 2.45 p.m. We will be discussing events that are coming up quickly for the organization. Any questions, see Mr. Prestofilippo. Junior class will be meeting every Monday after school in the library for hallway decorating. All juniors are welcome to attend. We will need lots of people and supplies. On Wednesday, October 14th, all 11th grade students will be taking the PSAT in the morning in the auditorium. The PSAT is a practice SAT test. It tests your knowledge in reading, math, and writing, and prepares you for taking the actual SAT test this spring. After taking the test, you will receive your scores along with personalized practice information to improve your scores. The test is free to all 11th graders, and any 10th grader planning on going to a four-year college after graduation is also eligible to take the PSAT. The fee for 10th graders is $15. 10th graders who are interested in taking the PSAT should sign up in guidance by October 9th with $15 cash or a check made payable to Wilson Area High School. Lutron's Explorer Post offers high school students an after-school opportunity to learn about science, technology, engineering, and math. Our program is taught by Lutron engineers and runs from 6 to 7.30 every Thursday night starting on October 8th through May 2016. We cover topics from basic electricity circuits and basic machines all the way through more advanced circuits and physics. This is a great resume builder for high school students, especially those interested in pursuing science or engineering in college. If interested, please visit our website, www.lutronexplorerpost.com to enroll. The following college is coming to visit Wilson tomorrow. September 30th, York College, period seven. Any senior who would like to speak to a representative, please see guidance for a past the day of the visit. Attention Homecoming Court, the homecoming group and individual photos will be today at 11.20 a.m. during B Lunch on the front steps. Please report directly to the main lobby at the end of A Lunch. Reminder to debate team, tryouts will continue today after school in room 203. Anyone who wants to participate must try out. The Future Educators Club will be meeting today in room 310 at 245. New members are always welcome. Please come and join FEA. Attention all freshmen, there will be a meeting to decide the hallway decorating theme today after school in the library. All officers, all officers and any interested freshmen should attend. This just in, the winners of senior superlatives are in. Started off as cutest couple, Tiffany Palmer and Trevor Jones. Everybody's crush, Jeff Cooper and Alexa Busby. Prettiest eyes, James Hoban and Kayla Meese. Best hair, Jimmy Fritz and Emily Holder. Best dressed, Ryan Grell and Kaylin Betts. Most school spirit, Luke Meddy and Haley Flank. Most athletic, Joe Espinall and Sid Brannon. Best friends for the guys, Michael Fabian and Brendan Kirkpatrick. And for the girls, Talia Hilario and Taylor Lucas. Tallest, Tiger Front and Megan Balshbees. Shortest, Nolan McClure and Alexia Claudio. Biggest flirt is Mauricio Smith and Rachel Torres. Most positive change, Dylan Mulkins and Natalie Liberti. Most artistic, Joe Kramitz and Karen Skibicki. Most musical, Tim Horan and Leah Kuhn. Most likely to succeed, Scott Marchecka and Bromleen Chagar. Craziest laugh, Edgar Williams and Annabelle Gardsmo. Life of the party, Cody Figueroa and Faith Tomino. Class clown, Jared Haney and Shavi Sharma. Cutest couple that never was, Kylie Countess and Tiger Friend. Best personality, Enzo Severino and Aaliyah Cisse. Nicest smile, Steven Zavitsky and Allie Hicks. Most likely to sleep through an earthquake, Ben Purcell and Shaylin Mendel. Teacher's pet, Kevin Mitchell and Lily Wolf. And most dramatic, Eric Wallace and Christine Fitzgerald. That's it. You're the winners. On Saturday, the Wilson Warriors faced off the Northwestern Tigers in a Colonial League matchup at home. At the half, the score left some room for the Warriors to catch up, but in the second half, they couldn't do it. Instead, the Tigers ended up gaining 28 more points. In the fourth quarter, Cameron Clark led Wilson with 77 yards and a touchdown on 14 carries. Joe Goodman took 15 touches for 51 yards, but that couldn't keep the Warriors from falling short with a final score of 40-7. to 
In light of this loss, the Tribe was back again to support the football team. At kickoff, the Tribe got pumped up and threw baby powder into the air because of their whiteout theme. A crowd of people also came out and cheered along with the Tribe. Family members of the football team, band, and cheerleaders were among the people in attendance. The band put on another outstanding performance and the cheerleaders did an amazing job as well. On Friday, the Warriors will head out to Katasakwa to face the Rough Riders. With that said, we need as many people as possible to join the Tribe on Friday, so please consider joining us for a night of fun as we cheer on the football team. Come out and support. Yeah, and we'll catch you on the flip side, brosés. That's all we got for you today. Peace out. See you, Wilson. Awesome.